Jonathan Sharpelli is an avid runner. His route takes him through the school zone outside of Lincoln Middle School here along James Street in Syracuse. But he says he's constantly looking over his shoulder because cars are just going too fast. I usually see cars like fly like past they're going 50 miles per hour. Even without a speed gun, Jonathan isn't too far off. I get nervous sometimes because when I'm running down here, I don't want some cars swerving off the road and hitting me, you know? That's the last thing I need. But despite the concerns, Cars are still speeding in the school zones, particularly right here in front of Lincoln Middle School. And we have the numbers to prove it. Three months ago, we took our speed gun out to see how drivers react in the school zone. To our surprise, many didn't change their speed. In fact, they were going well over the 25 mile per hour school zone speed limit. To see if there was any change, we're back at it again. We chose the exact same spot as we did last time, the long school zone stretch on James Street. Grabbing our speed gun, we tested another 65 cars. Like clockwork, drivers were zooming, even with our speed gun and camera in plain sight. It's ridiculous, it should be happening. There were at least 25 cars going 10 miles over the speed limit. We even caught one car going 41 which is a whopping 16 miles over the current school zone speed limit. With cars going fast, it's hard to be able to cross streets. And even though they're just so little streets, at the end of the day, there, there is a lot of students and there's a lot of cars and a lot of traffic that do come up this way. High school student Tracara Weaver says it's almost impossible to cross the street. After her classes, she needs to walk several blocks to catch a Centro bus for her after school job. Because cars are not considerate, she says she's constantly struggling with time. And it's not like they're just coming from one direction, they're coming from both directions, so it's very hard for us. Back in November, we rode with police as they patrolled the school zone. That day, they issued tickets to three drivers for speeding. At that time, police acknowledged speeding is a constant problem in that area. Following our investigation, two more school speed limit signs on this section of James Street were added in January in hopes more drivers would pay attention. However, Sergeant Sackett with Syracuse Police says some drivers still aren't getting the message. Obviously putting the other signs up, it was a good gesture to try. It's still happening, so uh, we'll just spend some more time up here and try to get people acquainted with, uh, with the, the speed. Sergeant Sackett says they plan on beefing up patrols in this area to show drivers they mean business. In the meantime, walkers have a simple request. Slow down, 100%, slow down. Give us a chance to cross the street before you keep going because you guys do have enough time. For now reporting in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman.